Iceland is well known for its stunning scenery and geothermal activity. The Gullfoss waterfall and nearby Giza are two features of the famous Golden Circle tourist route. One man who has a strong affiliation to water is Icelandic ocean rower Fian Paul. The 37-year-old embodies the meaning of the ancient Greek moral virtue of Arite. Arite was meant to prepare or initiate a man into adulthood. The notion states that manhood is not achieved unless there's been success in the three fields of psychology, sport and art. I was quite active as a child and uh, in both fields, arts and sports. Uh, so in a way my life was a bit challenging because the answer wasn't clear. I was pulled a bit both directions and I couldn't let go of any of them. Physically strong, Fian became the first person to row across four different oceans. Creatively, as a photographer, his work has been displayed around Reykjavik. And as a student of psychology, he works as a therapist, assisting young men struggling to adjust to manhood. All very much mind, body and soul. If we feel motion and we don't see the motion, then we Born and raised in Poland, Fian has spent most of his adult life in Iceland. But it was when he was working for a charity foundation in Africa that he first became involved with ocean rowing. In 2011, he took part in his first world record attempt, successfully crossing the Atlantic in under 34 days. And the sense of satisfaction Fian gets from rowing is a key part of his motivation. One of them is, of course, a love for the adventure, and the joy of the achievements and the joy of taking a challenge and standing up to a challenge and often charity on top of it. But to be very honest, there is always a very important factor of personal gratification, of uh, winning, of earning the title and uh, accomplishing the journey. In 2014, Fian embarked on a row across the Indian Ocean, which wasn't without incident, as the team narrowly avoided colliding with an oil tanker. Then, two years later, a third ocean was completed, as he and his team crossed the Pacific. The struggles of spending weeks on the ocean aren't just confined to the physical strain and elements of the weather, there's also interpersonal conflict and food rationing. On every row, I had a moment that I thought is the end because I always calculate in my head distances, daily progress and a realism of reaching the destination. And on every single row, I saw that it's not unreasonable to think that it might not reach the end. When we ran out of food, we literally arrived with zero food. It was, it was almost uh, on the edge. Not to be deterred, Fian then set about his biggest challenge to date, a fourth ocean, the Arctic. For his polar expedition, the crew rode north of the Arctic ice shelf, which is the northernmost latitude ever reached by a rowing vessel. However, with equipment failure, poor weather and unwell team members, the crew had to stop on the deserted Norwegian island of Jan Mayen. Fian's fitness trainer, Aglo Agnars Dottir, was assisting the team from back home in Iceland. I think it's an incredibly beautiful view and the true essence of polar row. <laughs> I was in contact with the president and uh, the Icelandic rescue team and uh, trying to find every way to get them off that island. So uh, there was no helicopter that could fly over there. There were actually two planes that was possible to go out there, but we didn't get the landing permit. So there was, uh, then there was no way of, you know, for us to go from Iceland. By rowing the Arctic Ocean, Fian became the first person to row four different oceans and also hold the speed record for each crossing. The polar row itself set an astounding 19 world records. I did my best 
my very best to continue this role and I was ready to continue and I was driven to finish it but I faced the wall, the uh, limitations that uh, I had no uh, possibility of influencing. I mean, it was very disappointing when the airplane didn't receive the landing permit and I had a team ready uh, to join me and continue. For Fian, the expeditions are just one of the many passions in the 37-year-old's life. His most famous photography work focuses on the importance of breastfeeding. Fian is currently pursuing postgraduate studies in depth psychology based in Zurich, Switzerland, with his main field focusing on manhood archetypes. It's a very passionate subject for Fian, who also works as a therapist via Skype. I work most of all with a young men who face the threshold where they would like to enter adulthood, uh, which means they are moving from uh, boyhood psychology to manhood psychology. Uh, we might think it happens naturally, uh, but it actually often doesn't, and nowadays culture and the lifestyle uh, doesn't allow men to learn about it anywhere. Part of Fian's training regime includes a mixture of pool and open water swimming in the chilly Icelandic sea. And it's not just Fian's physical routine that is a little different. He regularly downs six raw eggs and follows that by tucking into some fermented shark meat. Fian's friend Aglo is beginning to wonder when she'll next receive a call asking for help with his next adventure. Okay. Okay. That's cool. And I'm like, again? Okay, wow, I'm in. <laughs> it's too exciting to say no. So, uh, and always uh, a lot of work, but I really enjoy it. It's uh, a lot of fun. I would say wise explorers know uh, that you don't point where the gold is. And uh, when uh, explorers make plans, especially when such titles as world's first are involved, and that's the highest form of world record because it's an eternal title. It's a title that nobody will ever take away from you. You own it all your life and even when you are gone, it's still there. The wisest approach is not to I talk about it prior to doing it and uh, there are a few plans I always aim for something bigger and more challenging and I, I do uh, have a vision I don't know yet if I'll manage to make it come true but uh, I'm working on it as the most record-breaking ocean rower of all time plots his next expedition, does the combination of his lifelong passions see him content in mind, body and soul? I love expressing myself uh, physically in this world and I like to be alive and I like this body to move and to... Um, I like to feel it.